What's up guys, today we are going to be creating a fixed header in the Brian template of Squarespace. So let's just jump right in. So first of all, we're gonna to have to target the header with custom CSS. So we have to jump into the inspect element and figure out what the class of the header is. And Brian is super simple, it's just dot header with a capital H. So to make the, the header fixed, you give it a position of fixed, but you see it no longer is showing up. And that's because all the other content is now covering it up. So we have to give our header a Z index of a really high value so we can see it again over our other content. So I'm just gonna give it a value of a thousand. So now we can see it and it's fixed, but it doesn't look very good because we have to give it a width. We want it to take up the full width of the browser. So I'm gonna give it a width of 100%. Cool, so now we have our fixed header. It looks pretty good, but we have a problem. The top of this section is still at the top of the browser. The header isn't actually like taking up its height on the page. It's actually just sitting on top of this section. And that's okay, but it doesn't look very good because the padding on the bottom is obviously way bigger than the padding on the top and it just looks pretty cramped. And it's not a huge problem, but it is when you look at uh, other pages on your website where content can actually like be cut off like this. So how do we remedy that? Well, we have to deal with index pages and regular pages and blogs differently but let's just start with fixing the padding on this index page. So what we can do is every index page section gets a class of index dash page. So we're gonna throw that into our custom CSS. We're gonna say dot index page. That should be a dot. So what we're gonna do here is we have to add padding to the top of this section equal to the height of the header. So let's find out what the height of the header is by inspecting the element and it's 81 pixels. So we're gonna add a padding top of 81 pixels. Cool, the content now jumps down to the bottom of the page. And this is great, but unfortunately Every section in an index page has this dot index page class. So not only did we add the padding top of 81 pixels to this section, but we've added it to every section in our index, this one included. So how do we only target the first section? We can use this selector colon first dash child. And that is only going to add the padding to the first index page child, which is the first section in the index. So now you can see the padding went away from this section, which is exactly what we want. Perfect, we've now fixed our index pages. But if you go to a regular page, like our about page, you can see the content is still cut off. So we have to find a class similar to dot index page for index page sections that all regular pages share in common. So we can add padding to that. So let's go ahead and inspect element. So all regular pages get a class of main dash dash page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that, add a comma, and then dot main page, and perfect. Our content jumps down the height of the header and our spacing is fixed for regular pages as well. Perfect. So how about for the blog? So you can see this didn't work for the blog and that is because we need another unique selector for like the blog and the shop. Um, they have uh, intro sections that you can fill out which are unique to like blogs and the shop that regular pages don't have this intro section. So we're just gonna grab dot intro and throw it in here and we should see it jumped down. Awesome, okay. So now we have proper padding for every page that we add to our website is now going to have the proper spacing. And we also have a fixed navigation in Brine. 